This video will show you how to write a journal reference using a Vancouver style. First of all, we need to know that there are two main components of a journal reference. One, bibliographic elements, two, punctuation marks. Let us understand this by this example. This is a screenshot view of a PDF file of a case report. Any article in a journal, in the first page itself, you'll get to know the following details. One, the details of the authors, the title of the article, and then the details of the journal, including the full text, full name of the journal, year of publication, the volume, and then the page numbers. If you type the title of the article in the PubMed, you can get the details again. The details of the author, the title, and then the details of the journal. Note that the difference in what you see here is that here the last name is written first followed by initials and whereas the journal name is abbreviated so this abbreviated journal name is what we use in Vancouver style of referencing so how do you compile these three lines while writing a journal reference in Vancouver style first of all come to the bibliographic elements authors in correct sequence has to be written and the names checked from PubMed followed by correct title of the article and that is followed by the correct journal abbreviation as given in the PubMed and that is followed by the year of the article publica published followed by the volume and then that is followed by the page numbers coming to the punctuation marks comma is written after each author and that is followed by a single space no need to write and before the last author. Full stop after the last author and that is followed by a single space. Again full stop after the details of the title and that is followed by a single space. Full stop after the abbreviated journal name followed by a single space. Year of publication followed by semicolon. Volume followed by colon page numbers separated by hyphen and then it is followed by full stop at the end of the reference so this is how the vancouver style of referencing of a journal article is done now if you find an article where you have more than um, single author or multiple authors in this case there are more than 100 authors obviously you cannot write all the 100 authors name so what do you do if there are more than six authors, use the abbreviation et al. Et al means and others. And et al has to be used after the sixth author's name. Now, how do you cite an article which is published on the internet? When I say published on the internet, it is only online journal and not a print journal. To reference a journal article published on the internet, provide the bibliographic details as for a print journal, but with few additions. And these additions are one, you have to write the date of access and two, you have to know the URL, which is the uniform resource locator. And that's a protocol for specifying addresses on the Internet. Or you need to know the DOI, which is digital object identifier. This DOI is actually a type of persistent identifier used to uniquely identify objects. It is particularly used for electronic documents such as journal articles. It's a pretty recent one. It started in the year 2000 and the details of this or the DOI will be available in the web page itself. Let us understand how to write a journal reference on the internet using Vancouver style. So this is an online journal only. So write the names of the authors as described before and that has to be followed by the title of the article and that has to be followed by the journal details including the year of publication and the volume and this has to be followed by the date of access after you have written the date of access write the url how do you write the url it has to be written like this available from colon url semicolon then write the entire url which is followed by a full stop so this is how you write a journal article from the internet in vancouver style 